everyone um, it's been a while since my last video and today I wanted to show you another unboxing video um, this time we're gonna have um, one unboxing of a Louis Vuitton and another um, a Chanel so the Chanel is my first um, it's my first Chanel item that I bought uh, so this is gonna be a little bit <laughs> It's been a while. Um, so, sorry. This is my first Chanel item that I have in my collection and I want to share with you guys and also I wanted to show you my pre-loved item that I bought and I also did some cleaning on to I also did some cleaning to it so I will show you pictures um, while I, I'm talking. I will show you pictures of the before and after of this item. So let's do the unboxing of my first item, which is the Chanel. So it came like this. I actually got it um, at Neiman Marcus, so I didn't get it from the Chanel boutique. Um, I live in San Francisco, so I have like five, like three different stores available for me to go to. I have a specific wallet that I really, really wanted, and it's the um, the Chanel caviar zip around wallet, but not the large size, the smaller size. And I went to a few, I went to the first store, which is the Chanel Boutique, and the only one that they had available was in blue. And my ideal one is black. So let me go ahead and show you um, what I got. <laughs> Stuck. Okay. So it came in a dust bag. That's Chanel. And ta -da! so I got the Chanel in the black caviar. It's a smaller zip around wallet. It's in gold hardware. Um, I actually really wanted the the silver one or the um, I forgot what's the call, but it's like the more scratchy silver type. Uh, so I wanted those, but they didn't have that available, but it was actually pretty difficult to find this wallet, so I decided to just get it. Let's see if you can see it. So, um, I went to the first store. They had this wallet, but in blue, and the lady said that they did not make it in black. So, I, I assume that because it's a, it's, um... The Chanel boutique she should be right that they won't have a black available so I was actually really really sad when I got when I was told that they didn't make the black one so I went with my friend and she told me to let's go to the other one so we went into Neiman Marcus and I already had my eyes set if I can't get this one then I would get something else which is similar but I also went in caviar I was hoping to get the uh, Chevron pattern but in black caviar so we went into the second store I saw that there was a display of the chevron in caviar but it was in red and I asked the lady, I was like, hi, do you have one in black? And then the lady was like, oh, I think I have a few that came in, um, I think there was a, uh, the boy that came in in black and I looked at my friend I was like, did she say what I thought she said? She had a boy in black? And then so, um, she took out all the wallets and she had so many different colors. She had the black one, she had a green one, she had a pink one, she had the blue one. And I had my eyes set on the black one. I'm like, can I can I see this one please? Can I see the black one? And she goes, yeah, sure. And then she like opened it for me to see it. And I'm like, sold. You just take my money. And so that was like the quickest thing I've ever bought. Um, I just went... She had what I wanted, so I got it. So let me go ahead and go closer so you can take a look at the wallet inside and outside and see maybe if you like this one because I love this wallet so much. Okay, hopefully this is a good view. So it's um, gold hardware and it's the smaller size. Uh, the lo I got this for 700 The full size is like 1100 or so. Um, and I already have a Louis Vuitton in like the full size zip wallet, so I don't need another one. And I really like how this would fit in my Eva clutch. So when you open it, it, it has a... Sorry. Um, it has 
two slots on each side. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has two slots on each side so you can put in your um, credit card. And then um, it comes with the authentication card. And then in the middle is a zipper where you can put your coins or um, more cards. In my case, I have a... Um, in my case, I have a um, coin wallet already, like coin pouch. So this one would mainly be filled with my cards in the inside um, department. So this was one of the items that I want to show you guys. And the second item that I got is a pre-loved item. Um, it's a, a Louis Vuitton. And I actually sold my Speedy 40 to get this one. And um, it's, can you guess what I got? Probably not because I didn't even mention it at all. Um, I already opened it. It came in a box. I already opened it and I stuffed it. And let me show you what I got. So this beauty here is the, let me see if I can... Okay, so this one here is the Key Paul 50 Bandolier, and um, the picture you are seeing in the in the next slide is how the handle looked before I cleaned it, and also how my zippers looked before I polished it. As you can see, the zippers. Let me. See. So I've polished the zipper, and it's so. It looks so much better than um, before. I mean, this is a vintage item. It was made in France uh, in the 1990s, so you can't expect it to be brand spanking new. But you can always clean it up a bit to make it look a lot better than it was before. So here are the handles now. So when I got it, um, if you can see the picture right now, you can see that the handles are really dark in this area. I was able to clean the handles and I will tell you in a bit how I cleaned it and also what I used to polish my zippers. I polished the zippers and I have also um, used wax paper so the zipper runs much smoother. So, And um, I've also polished the D-ring and I will show you the before and after picture in this slide. In the picture, I polished half. The other half was how it looked before. Um, and I've also cleaned up the straps. i um, not sure if I can show you, but there's still some watermarks on it. But I've cleaned it so that it's not entirely like super, super noticeable. Um, but you can still see it right here. Let me get into how I start how to uh, let me get into how to clean this bag so I got this bag from a wonderful seller um, on my Facebook group um, and I will put her um, information below and um, if you're interested she has a lot of pre-loved bags beautiful and affordable prices so if you are interested in purchasing your own your first pre-love bag um, I have her information below um, you can always check her out so I sold my speedy 40 and I actually to begin in the beginning I really wanted a speedy um, I'm sorry I sold my speedy 40 and in the beginning I wanted uh, the bandolier 45 so I can take with me to small getaways or trips um, that can fit under the airplane seat and um, I was talking to her she had one available but it's in the size 50 and 
she said that the size Speedy 40 and the 45 is not that much of a difference, maybe like 5 inches. And I agreed that that is a small difference. So, and the Speedy 40 was a little bit too small for me to pack all my stuff in. So I decided to listen to her and I got the Speedy Bandolier <clears throat> um, 50. Sorry, Speedy Bandolier. <laughs> Speedy. So I listened to her and I decided to get her um, Key Paul Bandolier 50. And when I got it, yes, I already know that um, it's not going to be brand new. It's not going to be super like nice and everything um, because this is a pre-loved item and it's also very it's also vintage it's 1990 it's 27 years old and it's in excellent condition the canvas is in good shape the only things I need a little bit of work was just some polishing and some cleaning to bring her back to life and make her look young again and that's what I did so all I did was I conditioned um, the leather with um, my Cadillac so I conditioned all the Vachetta letters and I let it completely dry um, and how I got this information was also from my Facebook group one of the girls posted um, how she kind of cleaned her back so I decided that since my handles were a little bit darker than I would prefer so I decided to clean it and so I followed her steps so basically you condition all the Vachetta letters with your conditioner and then once it fully dries that's when you get your magic eraser this is what I used and it comes into it comes in like two little um, rectangle sponge so I cut it into small cubes like about this size and then um, I use a bowl of water room temperature and then I just like dip it in squeeze all the water out once your water squeeze out you're gonna want to clean from so what you're going to do is, what I did was I start from one end right here and I slowly went up and then um, the first few wipes is not going to look wet or anything, it's just going to look, you smudged it and then as you get to the dirtier area, it's going to get really dark. This area got super dark and then I kept cleaning it. Once you keep looking at your sponge, once it gets dirty, you go to the next side and then if it's all four, if all the sides are all dirty, you use a new one. Um, make sure that you want to rub and not scrub because you're not scrubbing your dish. You This is a Louis Vuitton. So um, as I was cleaning and then I got to the middle, it got really, really dark and I was a little bit scared because it was my first time actually cleaning the leather. I usually just polish my um, my vintage items I don't really clean it because this was the first time where my handles were a little bit darker than I than I prefer so I cleaned it um, it got really dark and I started freaking out but I was like okay as I was cleaning it I can see one end was starting to get dry and I can see that it got lighter um, so I just kept cleaning um, one spot like I don't keep I, I don't do not stay in one spot for more than 10 seconds, okay? Advice. You want to, this is what I did. I cleaned here, went here, and then here, and then here, and then went back here again. And I kept doing that until I noticed that like when one end start drying, you can see if, that if you can see that it got cleaner, but it wasn't as clean as I wanted it to be. So I kept doing it until I felt like, okay, I think this is good. Um, I'm going to let it dry. So... I let one area, one handle dry while I start the other one, and then um, I let it go. You're gonna notice that your handles are gonna be really dull. It's not shiny at all because you kind of clean, like you know, clean the heck out of your your handles. So it's not gonna look nice and shiny, and like um, it's gonna look like it's. I will show, I will show you a picture. Um, there's gonna be a picture here. that will show you what it look, looks like um, before I conditioned it. So then after it, I let it dry overnight, make sure it completely dries before you put on your conditioner. If it's still wet or if it's not completely dry and you put condition, conditioner on, you're sealing it. So you're gonna, it's going to be dark and you're not going to be happy and you just kind of ruined your handle. Um, so once it completely dried, I let it dry overnight and the next morning um, I conditioned it and here's a picture of how it looks like after I conditioned it in this slide.
and after I conditioned it, um, I <laughs> it looks completely different. Like I mean, I wouldn't say completely different. It looks a lot cleaner. Looks a lot more um, brighter. It doesn't have the dark. Um, spots anymore. I've made sure that I cleaned it pretty well. I mean, it's still a little bit. I'm not sure you can see. It's not as bad. So you can tell it's actually I did a pretty good job. <laughs> it's not even that. Um, yeah, it's not dark at all. It's evened out. Um, so oh, another tip is that. Okay, another tip is that when you are cleaning your handle and it slowly dries and you notice that there are like these little watermarks because of your sponge and you're not clean and like because you're only concentrating in one area, there's going to be like a watermark line when you're done, when it kind of dries. So what I did was I used the sponge again and then I made sure the whole strap is covered and wet so that when it dries, it will dry together and there won't be splotches or water lines. So that's what I did and it turned out really nice. Um, the next thing I did was after I did the handles, I did the, the strap. Look how beautiful the patina is. I didn't do anything to the side straps because it was in, it was very good condition. It was even, there was nothing wrong with it so I didn't want to mess with it and um, all the, the patina matches, they're even. Um, and I'm really happy with the results and I'm really happy with the bag. I'm so excited for it and I'm excited to use it for my next trip and I really want to thank Jasmine for helping me getting this bag or selling me this bag. She's a wonderful seller. Um, I bought a few bags from her already and the last one I got was my um, Petite Noe in the, the Petite Epi Noe was the last one I got from her. and. She's just great. So if you are ever interested in your first pre-loved item, she's one of the sellers that I would go to. Um, so if you have any questions or if you want more information on the bag, let me know. Um, feel free to leave me a comment and I will respond. And oh, um, so what I use to pop, what, <laughs> So what I use to polish the metal is this one, the Wendell. Um, I got it on eBay, I mean, eBay, I got it on Amazon. It's called Wenol, W-E-N-O-L. Um, it is a metal polisher and this was recommended for me to use by um, a sales associate in Louis Vuitton. A lot of people used, um, I think I've heard of the blue something. I don't remember something blue um, or the brass cleaner I don't know there's so many different types there's a liquidy one there's like the cream one this is a cream one but it works really well for me and I love it and, um, tip on cleaning your zippers if you're using the cream one you want to use a little bit and then slowly kind of wipe it across the um, so what I did was I I used a Q-tip and I had a little bit of the cream and I kind of like swiped across. Once I, squ I swiped across, I started scrubbing it with the um, Q-tip and then it starts, you'll see that, there you'll see results and then, so I, I used a towel to scrub the zippers to get rid of the excess and then also I used water um, I, on the Q-tip to clean it out. Once I finished, I unzipped it and then I used the towel again to clean the um, each of the, the zipper just to make sure that there's no excess left in it because if there is, it'll look green once it dries. Um, it'll look green once it dries and then that's not a really pretty color that you want on your zipper. And um, make sure you don't get it on the, the, the cloth part of the zipper because it will stain um i have a small tiny tiny bit that got on the um that i didn't clean so well on the cloth so i can see like a hint of light a white mark but other than that it's not bothering me and i really don't care <laughs> so i'm not gonna do anything about it but yeah so that's gonna be all for today 
Um, well, that's all for this video. I don't know when I'm going to update another video and maybe I'll update it when I get something else. But other than that, I'm hope I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions again, please feel free to leave me a comment. I will um, put down the information of Jasmine's um, Facebook so that you guys can check her out. Other than that, um, I'll see you soon. Bye!